Okay, so um, tonight we're going to talk a little bit about, um, you know, what what we can say. Um, so my name is Julia McDonald, and I am a gold executive with ASEA. And today is the 24th of April, 2018. So welcome to the Shine Bright Team Training. Um, this is where we are growing our ASEA family and where we gather to learn and develop our skills in furthering our mission of ASEA and to help hundreds of thousands of people around the world live a healthier life while achieving their own personal and financial aspirations and dreams. So many healthcare professionals are calling ASEA products the greatest scientific breakthrough in health science, anti-aging and athletic performance of our lifetime. They're saying that this science discovery is as big as the discovery of penicillin and, and, and DNA. So the intention of this call is to support you guys and to gain the maximum benefit from using ASEA products and to empower you to share this extraordinary technology with the people in your life. And it allows you to make a living while making a difference. So we ask your corporation to not record this call and do not distribute it to mass media or social media sites. So no Facebook, Twitter, et cetera. And the call is recorded and posted to the Shine Bright Team Facebook community and the team support website, www.shinebrightteam.com forward slash blog. So we encourage you to invite all your associates to this call, but it's not intended for the general public. So announcements, uh, this week, Thursday and Friday afternoon, Justin is in Manila in the Philippines and he's delivering uh, the message of ASEA. There's a flyer and meeting details on Shine Bright Team events, so you can go there and have a look. And our next upcoming ASEA event is on the 2nd of June in Queensland and it's at Fitzy's Logan Home at 12.30 for a 1 p.m. start. Okay, so let's get into our training. So tonight we're gonna to talk about being connected and what to say. So how do I connect with people and what do I say? Um, where can we meet people? So we can um, meet people at the pharmacy. We can meet people at clothes shops. We can meet people in restaurants. We can meet people on park runs. Uh, we can meet people at all the shopping that we do. Um, and, you know, maybe in the grocery store, and if you're lucky, you might meet Oprah and um, Ellen, and then that would be an amazing thing for your business. So what if we're standing behind or in front of someone and we don't know what to say? You know, oh, and we can also meet people at networking events. You know, meetups is a great thing. It's um, coming a lot more prevalent and you know there's lots of meetups like there could be you know salsa dancing meetups you know where you're you know just going to go and have a bit of fun and you're going to meet and connect with people on a better level than you would through somewhere like LinkedIn or you know or not um, not face to face so these networking events are really great you know you might also hear a speaker it may only be um, ten dollars to go as well so you're getting exposed to a, a lot of people as well as learning something. So what if, uh, what do I say? Um, you know, people are constantly worried about what other people are gonna be thinking of them. And some people have a fear of talking to those people. So what I'm gonna talk to you through tonight is just some of the things that you can say to people um, to take away that social anxiety if you have it. So let's say you're standing in front of someone or behind someone, um, at the, for example, at the um, post office or in the Woolworths queue. Um, you know, sometimes if I'm in the mood, I get in the longest queue at, at somewhere so that I can chat to the person in front of me and or behind me. And particularly when I'm not with Sasha or somebody because, um, you know, it forces me to, to turn around and talk to someone. So you can sort of just start trying to build a relationship. So, um, you know, you can be standing in the line and a little kid goes running past and, you know, screams or something and you can turn around to the person behind you and go, oh my goodness, I remember when that was my child when he was five or six. And you're going to know within the first 10 to 15 seconds if that person wants to engage, is happy to engage and then, and so that you can continue the conversation. So they might go, oh, yeah, you know, my child was a terror, you know, la, la. And then that gives you the opportunity to start talking about things. What are you here to post? You know, what are you, what, how has your day been? You know, what have you done today? 
you know, hi, my name's Julie, you know, do you, I've not seen you in Forest Lake before. Do you, you know, do you live here or are you visiting? Or just having ideas of things, what to say. Um, you know, there's a great place. There's, there's some great places where you can go um, volunteer. So you might be um, very community minded and you might want to join the Lions Club or Rotary Clubs. Um, you know, that's a few of the, that exist. And the relationships that you're creating while you're working to accomplish a goal for the group or for the community provide a great opportunity for you to get to know these people and build these strong relationships with them. And then the community, um, you know, that benefits as well. And people talk. Um, and all these people have their need, have needs, right? So most of them have got injuries or ailments or they've got people that have got injuries or um, are unwell. So it's an ability to be able to, and an opportunity to be able to talk about your product and what you can offer. So, but what if you're working full time? So this is where you can take advantage of your day-to-day -day activities and, you know, go and meet at, um, meet people at the shopping centre or, you know, if you've got an extra 10 minutes, you know, walk into Target and talk to the lady behind that welcomes you um, because you don't know what's going on in their life. So you can say, you know, what is your hobby? So, you can, you can say, what is your, you know, talk about what's their passion, you know, um, you, and things come up out of, um, out of conversations that, you know, if you practice this, it comes a lot easier. And of course, we borrowed a lot of this is from Clay Stevens. If you haven't done RI training, it is a great way for you to build those skills to be able to talk to people. So the most important thing, though, is to make it about them. So we saw a, um, a fellow, you know, let's say he's wearing basketball gear or a lady wearing gym gear, you know, what, it, what inspired you to go to the gym? You know, oh, well, I want to lose weight and I want to get fitter and healthier. Oh, have you had a health challenge that, you know, has inspired you to do this or, or you know, why do you want to be fitter and healthier? You know, oh, well, I want to, I, I want to age better. Oh, really? You know? Or you can say something, then you can continue and go, well, would you like to be able to go to the gym more often? How often do you go? Oh, I can only get there two days a week. Oh, why is that? Do you work full time? So it, this is ideas that you can have in your mind and, and you can really put your own experience into it because you yourself might be working full time and you want to get to the gym four or five days a week, but you're only able to get there two days a week. So you can say, oh, I know how you feel because I'm the same way, right? But I'm changing what I'm doing to be able to make a difference and change that, to change it so I can go five or six days a week. Oh, how are you doing that? You know, and so then you can say, well, if I could show you a way of how you could do your hobby more often or, you know, play your sport more often, would that be a, something of interest to you? Or, you know, if I show you what I'm doing, you know, maybe that might help you achieve your dreams and your goals. And the more you say it, the, the more casual it's going to come across and not stilted. So you might want to drive three or four suburbs away from where you live and just practice with people that you're probably never going to see again. Because if you muck it up, it doesn't matter because you're never going to see them again, right? So... It, it might be if you see um, somebody that's injured. So Sasha is brilliant at this. He is very good at spotting people that have an injury or that have a skin condition or um, anything that's going on. And I'm getting a lot better uh, with that, I must say, because I've, I'm learning that skill, right? And, my li and I've noticed that my listening is getting better because I'm able to repeat back to people what it is that's important to them. And what it is that they've just said. So if they're injured, you could say, hey, listen, what have you done? You know, how did you do that? And they go, oh, you know, had this, that, that. Oh, that must be horrific for you. Is it taking away time from your family? Or is it taking away time for your work or your hobbies? You know, because when we're injured, we can't do the things that we used to. And then say to them, listen, out of 10... How important is it to you to get that better? And then you say, well, if I had something that could help you heal that in half the time, would that be something you'd be interested in? It's always got to be about them. 
And we had a great training from Janine a couple weeks ago about going for the no. You know, oh, no, thanks. No, no. Okay. So then we normally say to people, okay, so it's not that important to you to get to resolve that issue. Is that what you're saying? Oh, you know, and they might go, yeah, yeah, I'm not interested. Or I'm, you know, it doesn't matter. I, I can heal quickly or, you know, what it is. And they go, okay, that's fine. But if you repeat back to them sometimes that, oh, is this not important for you to get this better and get back to your hobby or sport or work or your family, then that makes people stop and listen because you're confronting them, right? So if they say no, did your world end? No. So what's the worst thing that can happen is they say no. So you smile and you say, thank you. It was great to meet you. I hope you have a fabulous day. And then normally it's, you know, oh, my, um, you know, oh, look, it's, it's great for my, because um, I've come up and oh, it's my turn to get in the queue or whatever. And, um, and, and it's really, it's about not being too worried about what happens next. Oops. So, so yeah, so it's not about, it's certainly not about you, right? You're just able to give them an opportunity to be, um, you know, to have that, um, have the option of healing quicker. And then if they're in the line and they're like, I can't, so, for example, I had a lady the other week who's a personal trainer. She's fractured her foot and she's posting on Facebook that, you know, now she's six weeks out. So I messaged her and said, hey, listen, do you remember we met at this expo and we had that product that, you know, could heal the body quicker? Would it be a benefit to you if you're going to have six weeks out of coaching and out of losing income? If I could heal that for you in half the time, would that be of interest to you? And it's a yes or no. So if she spends, you know, 150 or $200, she's going to make, you know, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars more a lot quicker by going back to work, you know, and then you can say, you know, hey, like Justin has just said, and Nicole's just said, you know, if, if they say no, you can say, well, who else do you know that's got a health challenge that I may be able to help? Because I'm really passionate about helping people with health challenges and those who want to get well, get well. And sometimes if, you know, I, like I'm a bit cheeky that way, I sort of say to people, if they say no to me, go, well, who do you know that does have a health challenge? Because I really want to work with people that are interested in improving their own health. And then they'll go, oh, uh, oh my cousin or my auntie or whatever, or, or they must go, no, don't know anyone. And they just blatantly lie, which is okay, because <laughs> we all know someone with the health challenge. So, but it's not for everybody. And, I, and once you get and have that belief in yourself that, you know what, you have a magnificent tool here to be able to help people get better and get well, then, and it's not about you personally, it's about the tube that you're offering, you know, and they'll have their own issues about why they don't want to get well. And because some people, it's their story. So I was, you know, been talking to a lady over the last five months on a social media platform and she um, has fibromyalgia. She's got a lot of health issues. And I said to her, out of 10, how important it is for you to get better? And she just looked at me and she didn't know what to say. And so I repeated myself and I said, out of 10, how important is it for you to get better? Oh, well, oh, yeah, it's important. I said, but out of 10, is it a seven or is it a nine or is it a three? Oh, it's a nine. And I said, okay, so if I had something that could help you get rid of your aches or pains, you know, would that be something of interest to you? Can I share that with you? I oh, know that's like, I'm, I'm, you know, on these drugs with the doctor or whatever, you know, whatever it was she said. And I said, okay, no problem. Well, I found out last night that uh, I saw her on the weekend at the coffee shop and, um, she messaged me and said, hey, listen, this is what's happening with my health. I said, that's great. And her daughter has um, some pretty serious issues going on. And she's just really closed. And it's like, that's okay. 
because that's their own issue and they love to be able to talk about their own issues. So you're not going to help everybody. But that's a way, um, if you can just practice and have four or five of those questions in your mind so that when you do come across someone, you know, and you see that they've got that challenge, you know, oh, is, what do I say? You can just run it through your head for a bit and then, or you need something or you have something that, you know, the little kid running around and go, oh, my goodness, that was like my little boy or, um, or you, you know, you're, you're looking at something or they're looking at something and you go, oh, I've got that at home and it's so really good or that's a really good book to read, um, you know, and just start the conversation easily. Some people aren't going to be talkative and some people aren't going to want to communicate and that's fine but at least you've had a practice and you've had a go and you know and the worst thing is that you know well, you walk out of the shop and you probably won't ever see that person again and once you get that into your mindset that it doesn't matter you know I'm going to repeat that because as soon as we get into our mind that it doesn't matter it's a lot easier and you know you, of course, when we first get into this, we, we tell our closest friends and our family and they're usually the people, the last people that sign up. So none of my family use ASEA or Renew28, um, except Sasha's mum. None of my family do and none of my friends do. So probably my closest friends um, have now become ASEA people. But, well, you know, like my ASEA people are probably my closest friends now, but... Um, but none of my old friends use it, you know, so don't get caught up on the fact that, oh, my best friend's going to use it. She's going to hate me. She's never going to talk about it again. Don't stress with that, you know, just know that it's not for everybody and they know you as the florist or the receptionist or the swimmer or the, you know, the tradie. They don't know you as you know, some scientist with this incredible healing product. They don't know you like that. But the opportunity will come up one day where they burn themselves or they, they're with you and they do something and say, hey, rub this on three times in five minutes. And then that's how they build their belief. And they may come around and they may not. And it doesn't matter. Don't let um, a seer be um, about friendships because it's not about friendships. You know, you build relationships with people and then you can share the ASEA with them. But with your already established friendships, don't make it about ASEA. Because, you know, we all know that our closest friends and family don't tend to use it. So I hope that's been helpful. I'm going to open up for questions. So is there anyone that has a question? You can... Um, Put your hand up and I can unmute you or you can unmute yourself. How many people here do struggle to find people to talk to? Mez, you, you struggle to find people to talk to. Would you like to share that with us? I'll unmute you. Oh, I'll I just you. unmute you. <laughs> <Hang on. laughs> um, yeah, look, I suppose um, the reason I... I've worked on a farm for so long and I don't get out and meet that many people. Um, and a lot of my clients through racing are my friends. And as you say, I don't push it on them. I might mention it, but that's about it. But now I'm out of the horse game and I'm getting out there more. And I have tried talking to the people in the supermarket queue. And, yeah, I'm starting to get it now. Yeah, yep, everything you've said is just it's been excellent. It really has for people that don't know. And I've been in networking before, but not really succeeded because of what I used to do. Um, but yeah, I'm understanding it more and more, just walking down the street, smile at somebody and make a comment. That's Lovely it. shoes. Where did you get them from? Yep. That's one I've used. And you just strike up that conversation. It may lead to something. It may not see you later, but you might see that person again and again, and they'll stop and talk to you. So, yeah, excellent yeah. training. Perfect. Thank you. No, you're welcome. You. Yeah, no, and that is, it's perfect because you, um, yeah, it, and you don't need to, you know, and we certainly use that term verbal vomit over somebody. You've got to find out questions about them. And it may not, it may be, you know, we, we constantly hear in network marketing, it's the, 
maybe the fifth or seventh or twelfth time that they're exposed to something that they're going to take action. You know, not everyone's going to jump in first go. You know, I, I used the product straight away because I was injured and I needed to resolve this really quickly. Um, but, you know, I said no to the business for nine months, you know, or however many months it was. And, you know, and then we fluffed around for ages, you know, as well. So, you know, it's not, not, not a lot of people going to jump on board and, and run, you know, with it very quickly. So it's just build that relationship and, and most importantly, have fun, right? So you've got to have fun. Are there any other questions? Yes, I've got a question. Yes, Barbara. So if they do show some sort of interest in the product, what is your next step? So I usually, um, on my phone, I have the Genie app. So I open the Genie app and I say, great, um, listen, how about you flick me your, your send, put your email address and your phone number in here and I'll send you some information. And then um, depending on how long I've spoken to that person, I might also say to them, Hey, are you on Facebook? Because we have a private testimonial page I can add you to. And uh, I'm, I'm happy if you unfriend me after I've added you in there. But at least once I've got you in there, you can have a look at uh, what else it's helping with. So I gauge that on how warm the person is to me. Um, so I get their email address and their phone number and I save it into Genie. And then I also screenshot it just in case that anything goes wrong. And then I come home and then I send them that email. So in the email, are you just using the tools from Genie, sending a yes, couple of videos? What yes. can I ask you? I, and the reason I'm asking you is I, I'm, I sort of feel like I should be in a privileged position in that I'm, I'm a physiotherapist. And so a lot of my patients are telling me what their problems are before I even have to ask them. Um, so I, I should, I should be ahead of the game with it, but I, I'm not. And um what I'll do is I'll say to them, because I can't take up my, my appointment talking about a SEER, I'll say to them, let me send you some information. I generally flick to them the um, short SEER story. I sometimes flick to them the quick draw product testimonial, the quick draw um, little bit about oh, yeah. the thing. Um, and then I might send to them a document, the SEER document, which just gives you a little bit of information about the research that's been done. Um, of maybe 25 of those emails that I've sent, never once have I had someone come back and go, I really like that information. I've always got to follow it up, which I understand we need to do. But do you ever get anyone just phoning you back and going, that was amazing. Can you tell me more? Because I have never had one person do that. And I see them every week. And unless I actually say something to them, they don't even talk about it. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever had anyone ring me back and go, that was amazing. Sign me up. Um, <laughs> so I think, so what I usually send is I send the redox doc. I'll send the three minute. Uh, if, if I'm, uh, if, if I don't connect them on Facebook, I'll send them the product uh, video that Alan Noble does. So it might go for about 13 minutes. Um, if I do connect to them on Facebook and I know I'm going to tag them in on Nicole's presentation, I send them the three minute um, blurb, the three minute video Alan Noble did. So I send the Redox doc, the three minute or the long one, and then uh, a seascience.com. And that's all I send them. And I, and then I just, um, yeah. So then when I follow them up, I just say, you know, what did you like best about it? You know, tell me what you like best about it. And with Genie, it's brilliant because it, it shows you what they've opened and what they've looked at or not. And I think with your um, physio practice, like, do you feel confident with the, um, you know, are you, do you feel like you're selling Renew or do you feel that it's just another tool for your client's um, repertoire to be able to help heal them quicker? Oh, um, I I love and I actually take a tube with me and put it on patients in the treatment. So if I'm treat, I won't put it on the area that I'm treating because I feel like I need to be doing what they've come to me for, but they've, they've always got a second problem. So I'll put it on that. And um, at, at least 90% of them come back and go, that was amazing. But they, they don't want to go any further than that. And they, so I just do it again and I do it again until they come back and go, 
can I try a tube? But I've never got anyone asking for more than one tube. I've got two people on as an associate, but I know that they're not going to be um, in it for the business. They just have gone to that route because it's a wholesale route and I don't know that I could retain them. Maybe I will if they love it after three months, but um, I'm just really, yeah, it's, I'm finding it sort of hard to really do that conversion. I think, um, I think Sally, you know, she does it really well in the sense of um, she almost like takes it away from them in the sense of she says, you know, I think um, with, with me it was, you know, Julie, can you try this? I'm, I'm looking at using this in my clinic. Um, I want you to really give me your feedback on it. So I bought some there and then she sent me the link to order some because I knew that I'd get more, I'd need more. And I think, I think you need to still make it about them as like, well, would you rather come and see me and spend $80, $90, $100? I'm not sure how much you charge. My physio was charging me $176 a visit. So the quicker I got rid of my physio, the better. Um, you know, would you rather pay $50 a tube for a week or come $176 to see, to see the physio? I know what I'd rather in my pocket, you know, the money in my pocket. So I think you need to make it about them and to say, well, you can either keep coming back and seeing me or you can start using this and reduce the amount of time you come and see me and spend that time doing something you'd rather love. Or, you know, I think maybe word that and, and make it a priority for them to buy it. Yeah. Okay. Does that Thank make you. sense? Yeah, it does. Thanks. I was just interested to know what, you know, what tools you were sending because I don't know if maybe I'm just not sending the right tools or if it, but it's good to hear that you don't get people phoning you back and <laughs> begging you for it too. No. Barbara, it's Nicole, it's Nicole here and I can Hi, say Nicole. that I work with a lot of health, um, health professionals and help them with their clients and the ones that are, that are doing really well and, you know, most of their clients will just be customers whether they choose to become a uh, associate or joy has to say hello or preferred <laughs> customer but they're very like they just tell them pretty much straight like i want you to drink this much asia and i want you to use this much renew okay. and then they just say you know i want you to i want you to order it here's the details of how you do that so they're much more to be like prescriptive quite, about it they're quite they're just pretty direct about it right like yeah. they're just like this is really going to help you um, this is this is how much you know um, I want you to use like so very direct so like particularly one of the um, doctors <coughs> sorry about this hang on I might just uh, I'll, I'm just flinging around so if I'm making anyone dizzy Joy's trying to get the phone um, what I what she, what she will do is she has a form that she gives to her clients that's got my contact details on it so if they have any questions I help them do the actual um, enrollment and that kind of thing um, but she actually tells them, she'll be like, I want you to drink 60 mils of a sea twice a day. I want you to drink 120 mils three times a day. She's that prescriptive with them. Okay. That'll like, so she's, she's very specific. So they know exactly what to do. So if they do call me to help get their account set up, I just explain, this is what a preferred customer is. This is what an associate is. And I, and I say, how much have you been asked to use? And they're like this much. And then, um, of a sea and this much of renew. And I'm like, well, this is how much product that you need. Um, and this is how much it is and are you ready to get started? And they're like, okay, yes. So that's it. Like, it's very, like, it's a super direct conversation. Hello. And that's like the two practitioners that I like do that with a lot have like really good businesses. It's taken them a while to build them up, but they're very solid and they're good volume. Thanks, Nicole. I'm meeting with a GP too on Thursday who actually refers patients to me all the time. And in so much as she'll even say, if you can't get to see Barb's wait, go on the waiting yeah. list, which is lovely. So she really trusts me. I'm meeting with her because I want her to be on board with me um, prescribing this to the patients that she refers to me. So Yeah, so with G with I can talk to you about that. Maybe call me about how we do it with GPs just to give them a little bit of removal. Um, I think that, that was the email that I sent to you about that uh, document that yeah. you mentioned once before. Thanks. Yeah, but just just give me a call and I'll tell you about like like as well as those handouts, like just a couple of other things that we sometimes do with GPs of how we set their accounts up. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, is there any other questions? Thanks, Nicole. When I say the Redox Doc, do I mean to the website? Yes, Jane. To the website, theredoxdoc.com. I in Genie, um, 
there's a there's a the little um, infinity symbol that allows you to um, link websites to into the Genie email format, and that's where you can copy a a, a website address and put it in there, and you can word it what you want. So I have the Redox doc, but when they click on it, it goes to the website. So that's how I do that. People don't call back from email. No, not particularly. No. <laughs> So, is there any other questions? No? All good. Well, Hi, Julie. Just Lorna here. I'm not yes, asking yes. a question. Sorry, I've only just recently jumped on and I caught the end of Bob. So, Bob's, I'll give you a call later. Um, just uh, the charge up call from last Wednesday, the teach portion was fabulous for anybody in business. And the Friday charge up call was really good. So, I'd really encourage everybody to hop on and listen to those charge up calls before they disappear. Um, the Friday one was um, uh, Virtus's daughter Nancy Norton talking both on the on on the business side of things, and then the teach portion on the Wednesday was some chap who's a who's a financial strategist and all sorts of things, and um, he gave like his keynote uh, a summary of his keynote speech that he gets asked to give at lots of business um, talks and things, and they they were both very very good. So I'll share them to the the group as well to shine bright, but just for anybody on the call tonight, go and listen to those while you can. And I just shared something from ASEA United as well, a little bit on the lines probably of what you've been chatting about tonight with um, uh, the fact that um, we should treat equal, everybody equally regardless of whether they aim to be a customer or a business builder because many customers become business builders, e.g. Julie. <laughs> yep, so Becky G's asked how we um, access charge up calls. So you have, um, um, Oh gosh, SoundCloud on your phone. You can download the app, SoundCloud, and then just type in charge up call and uh, you'll find the ASEA charge up call for that. And um, Becky, I'm happy to send send you the information on how to do that if um, we struggle. Okay, so next week we've got um, the lovely Paula Melville Clark and she's going to talk about the five stages of duplication. So thank you everyone for coming. Um, we'll we'll on again in 25 minutes with the um, testimonial. So I hope to see you then. And our fabulous Nicole Dennis is going to be on the Wednesday night call tomorrow night. So um, with the, the diamond in the house. So send that to everybody that Nicole's going to be there. And, and that flyer is in the Shine Bright team and Renew with Redox with, you know, what's coming up this week. So Make sure you get your people along to um, on that phone tomorrow or on the on the Zoom to listen to Nicole present because you know we can say this is um, our leader and our mentor and our um, our colleague. So make use of when our people are, are going to be speaking. So thank you everybody. I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>